livestock has been central to the livelihoods and food security of the Maasai in Longido, Tanzania for generations. However, the recent years marked by irregular rain patterns and unprecedented severe droughts have brought new challenges that need more than traditional solutions. Due to climate variability, these communities have been gradually confronted by uncertainties, rainfalls, precipitation levels, sunny periods and other natural phenomena no longer follow the seasonal pattern to which the communities were used. Since 2003, communities in Longido have been combining their traditional knowledge with modern scientific climate services and data provided by a multi-partner programme known as Climate Services Adaptation Programme in Africa. This programme aims to increase the resilience of people who are most vulnerable to the impacts of weather and climate-related events through the provision of climate services. It is hoped that the programme will serve as a model for other parts of the country and the African continent. One primary task of the programme is to collect and analyse climate data for long-term policy-making purposes. However, to make sense of these data at a local level requires a certain expertise. Yassine received a special training as part of the Global Framework for Climate Services programme. The training on the climate issues we got, it has helped us to disseminate the message to the community so that we can sensitise the people on the climate change. Uh, it helps to disseminate the message of harvesting part of the livestock so that they can cope uh, with the size of the land and the pasture which is available in the district. In this way people can also benefit because they are not losing much of their cows or their livestock through climate change. Maasai tribes, they use the traditional knowledge. They check all goats, use the trees and use cows and other indicators. Besides this long-term oriented approach, the Maasai communities in Longido also benefit from the program's weather services that help them make timely decisions relating to their livelihood. Tanzania Meteorological Agency has been providing weather services to Tanzania in general. What we do is we produce a special bulletin for farmers and pastoralists. That bulletin is having the weather forecast expected and is, is also having the advisor. What should they do after receiving this forecast? The improvement in climate services will have a very beneficial impact to the livestock keepers and the agricultural uh, practitioners in Longido and in Tanzania at large. This will help in improving livestock management and also will uh, contribute to enhanced productivity in livestock product and also will increase efficiency and effectiveness in livestock keeping. We disseminate the information through various channels, through press release, through agricultural extension officers in various press, and in this case in Longido. Very recently, we have also started the dissemination of information through mobile telephone leaching directly the end user, the farmer and the livestock keepers. People will be in a position now to make interventions, to understand, to use the climate information, to adapt before uh, the events come into place. Rainfall data or climate information are crucial in terms of food security because most of food security is comes from food, either food production or livestock production. And these two components basically rely on rainfall availability and how farmers and livestock keepers can make use of these rains and other information. For the herdsmen and the households, the situation becomes more and more certain thanks to the timely delivery of seasonal forecasts. 
Decisions about what step to take and when can be taken based on those previously missing forecasts. Kama <laughs> Kama 